Greetings. Thank you for tuning in to Little Steps. Uh, my name is Tim. Uh, my channel on YouTube is How Do I Do This Zero One, and you can find me online at freewebs.com. Uh, How Do I Do This Zero One? Uh, today we're going to go ahead and just do a quick lesson, or maybe not so quick, but uh, hopefully a fairly easy lesson on how to paint a rose. Uh, we're going to be coloring a rose. We're going to be adding a palette to your canvas. We're going to be using shading with your spray can. We're going to be filling up some areas with your flood fill tool and using layering to get a pretty pretty rose that you can be proud to call your own. If you practice, this isn't really a difficult thing to do. It's just a matter of uh, continuing your lessons and hopefully getting better at what you're doing. Uh, please comment and rate my videos. If you like this video and you want to get a copy of the rose itself, I would be happy to email it to you. Um, just uh, send me an email and request the rose and uh, I'll send it off to you. Once again, thanks for watching and let's go ahead and get started. Now you'll notice I do have my resolution on my screen set pretty high on this one and I've got my resolution on my recording hopefully high enough so that you can see everything clearly. If not, we'll see what we can do about it. Anyway, um, let's go ahead and start. Now you're going to want to start with your basic canvas with the rose. Now, this is a stock uh, line art drawing that I, I modified. Um, I went ahead and I colored the line art with a background of dark gray and all the rose petals with a light gray. I've gone through and I've touched up every area around the edges and in between all the lines to make sure that nothing would bleed through. And just to show you this, you can use your flood fill tool. You can click over to a red and then, or excuse me, brown, and go from there. Now the point of doing this is to illustrate to you that you need to connect all your dots when you're drawing and the flood tool is really handy for painting this type of, of picture and the process that we're going to be using today using layering is going to do exactly that. It's going to allow you to, to utilize the tools to paint one rose petal at a time. Now in order to do this you're going to have to open up a few different windows with the same picture. Now let me go ahead and show you here. I've already put the palette in this one and I put the palette in this one and I've already enlarged it. Now part of the process of what we're doing here is going to be to paint our rows and then layer one step at a time over the main colors to come up with the effect. Now you can practice this. You can keep going back and refining it over and over again. Um, the whole idea here is to practice just to get better, to get comfortable with the tools, to get familiar with your drop downs, and hopefully to come up with a pretty rose. You can use any color you want. I'm just using the red as a standard rose color. Um, anyway, let's go ahead and get started on this. Now what you want to do is you start with a basic rose. I've got all the petals colored gray. The reason you want that colored gray is because you want to color one rose petal at a time or maybe a few rose petals at a time. And you can also color all the rose petals at a time. And the way you do that is to go ahead and switch over to your canvas here. This is the other canvas. Now you'll notice I've got my white. Let's go ahead and do a flood fill. And I can color all of these to white. And then I can proceed to color the whole rose at one time. Now this is good and bad because quite honestly it's going to allow you to paint the whole thing but it's also going to require that you layer a few more times to get some depth to your coloring. But anyway, this is going to come with practice either way. So, okay. Now you'll notice here, once I, ex oops. Once I expand this, you will notice that we're down here in the, the gray matter here. Let's go ahead. We're going to finish coloring with the 
tan tool here and you want to get every little swatch of gray out of the painting. Okay, so we've colored everything to the white for the rose. Now, the reason that I have the second rose with nothing on it, and you want to go ahead and color this one one rose petal at a time, is because you're going to color the whole thing, and when you're happy with it, you uncolor this and then drop it in over the other one, paste it back onto this one, copy it again, paste it back and forth until you layer it to the point you want. Okay, this is the process of layering that we're going to use. Now we're going to start with this bottom petal here just to give you an illustration. You can pick this up and carry it on once, once you get the idea here and you can finish coloring the rose. We're not going to complete the whole rose today because obviously it's going to take a while to give the depth. But the one thing I wanted to illustrate today is the palette that we're going to add to it. Now you'll notice here we have the colors. We've got your standard palette colors up here at the top and you've got your color palette up here by dropping this down and you've got your edit colors here. What you can do is go over here, pick a nice red color and it can be any color, it doesn't matter. What you do is you go over here to your slider and you pick your brightest or lightest color and you add, the, add to the custom colors. Go down a couple of shades, add to the custom colors. Go down, add, go down, add, go down a little, add another color. Now you'll notice it's filling up on my custom palette. My custom colors there on the left on the bottom. And what you want to do is you want to keep coloring this until you get all of your color palette. And then you can go from here and create a swatch. Okay, now from here I can choose this color and I can proceed to go out here with my brush tool, go to a square, make it a little bit larger so that it's easy to pick up your color when you're ready. Now I go up here to my color palette, pick my next color, click OK. Give yourself enough room so that you can use your palette without having to crowd yourself out because you can always go back and recolor this. Pick your next color. Also note your color goes from top down, up to the right, down, up to the right, down. You'll notice the color gra graduates in that order. So make a note of that when you're, when you're adding your custom colors. Now at this point I'm creating the palette. If for no other reason than to make it easier for you to paint. With your paint palette or your custom palette here on your canvas, it makes it easier by just using your eyedropper tool and coloring from your eyedropper tool. Now, if I'm getting a little long-winded, I do apologize. I'm trying to cover this quickly. But I also want you to see what I'm doing. <clears throat> I'm adding one shade of color at a time until we get to the shades that you want on your, can on your palette on the canvas. And once you've got all the colors that you want, then you go ahead and you can start the actual painting. Now this doesn't take too long. And what makes it nice is this gives you a quick access to your colors without having to keep doing this menu drop down. Now I'm going to go ahead and stop here. I've shown you how to put the colors on your palette. Now this isn't the palette that I've chosen, but this is just to show you how. <coughs> Excuse me. Now let's go ahead and proceed on. Now we're going to use this as a layering tool. Now this is going to become my palette, but I'm going to just pick the colors. Okay, we're going to start another video here pretty quick, so bear with me.